How do you decide what technique to use on an integral? How do we pick the form? Look for the easiest approaches. First thing, is it a polynomial or a simple power rule? This first integral is simply x to the negative 2. So you use the power rule, you get the answer. This second one is also a power of x, but the power rule doesn't work. You'd be dividing by 0. This one you have to memorize is the natural log absolute value of x. This next one here, what if it's x plus 1 quantity squared? Well, the x plus 1 in parentheses kind of jumps out as a, oh, I could substitute that as u. u is x plus 1. du would be the same thing as dx. So 1 over u squared, we're back to the first case. Substitute back, and we've got it. Now this fourth integral, 1 over x squared minus 1. It isn't a power rule. I don't see an easy substitution. What else can we try? It's a polynomial over a polynomial, a rational function. If you can see that the denominator can be factored, then you can use the algebra technique of partial fractions to rewrite the integral into a more doable form following along like that. What if instead of a minus sign, it was a plus sign? Well, now you can't factor the denominator. It's not a power rule. There's not an obvious substitution. Uh, this turns out to be inverse tangent. That's another one you just have to memorize. And then finally, this example, what if we had an x over x squared plus 1? Well, that presence of the x makes all the difference. It completely changes the approach. For this one, we'd say u is x squared plus 1. And then du would be 2x dx. We end up with 1 half du over u. We integrate that, back substitute, and we have our answer.